Hi, Vincente here. I want to, for this video, go over the basics for your character in Idle Pouring. So Idle Pouring is Idle Games and the Idle Monster. Though I have not played that game, I have seen some videos. And they're pretty much like a reskin, except this is Ragnarok. If you ever guys ever played Ragnarok online. So this game pretty much plays itself. You log in once in a while, you set up your hero, and then you just continue the rest of your day. So there's a three classes in this game the swordsman archer and mage and of course there's job advancement pretty much all the general skills are pretty much all the same except with different names but they do have different job skills which you only get when you advance but i'll cover that in a different video this one i just want to cover the attributes of your hero so in the hero page there's an attribute button right you can go there and then you can see your primary stats on the bottom there's six of them and on the top there's their secondary stats so every time you level up you get six of them you can input it into your primary stats and your primary stats greatly affect your secondary stats so the secondary stats we have hp which is pretty much straightforward right it's your life your health points and then you have your attack which is your physical attack which uses only apply to swordsman or archer classes and there's magic attack which applies for mage classes there's a hit rate, or hit, which affects your hit rate, in which you can attack the monsters, especially when they have high evasion. And then crit CRI, which is critical rate, which is the rate which you can get a critical attack when you do your attacks. And the tendency is the amount of resistance against debuff status, like sleep, stun, silence, etc. And SP. I'm not actually sure what it stands for, but I think it stands for spell or skill, power or points, in which you need it to cast your skills. Defense is your defense against physical attack. Magic defense is your defense against magic attacks. Evasion in which is the rate in which you invade on oncoming attacks. So when people hit you, there's a chance that you can either get a miss, so it does nothing to you. And then there's attack speed. In this game, it's different. It actually affects how fast you start your casting your skills, not actually your attack speed. And then, of course, cast here is actually the cast time. It affects your cast time. You can cast faster. So each class has a specific stat in which they specialize in, which will give them two attack or magic attack, depending on your class. So archer and swordsman get two attack, mage get two attack, two magic attack. And then they also get 2 max SP and 4 max HP. So for Swordsman, they specialize in Strength. For Archer is Dex. Mage is Int. Intelligence. And then Stamina, no matter what character or class you are, it will give you 2 Defense, 2 Magic Defense, and 16 HP. Agility will give you, no matter what your class is, 2 Attack Speed, 2 Invasion, and 10 HP. Lug gives you, no matter what character you have, 2 crit, 2 hit, 2 tendency, and 10 HP. And then the other 2 tap, depending on your character. So if you're a swordsman, the other 2 would be dex and int. If you're archer, it would be strength and int. And if you're mage, it would be strength or dex would be the other 2. And this will give you, for each point, 2 defense, 2 magic defense, 8 max HP, and 8 max SP. You can get more of these stats based on gems, pets, your equipment, or your stat points. And then artifacts also give you more of these stats, mostly the secondary ones. And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. So if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to do my best I can to answer. So maybe I'll see you next video when I cover some of the other things. Later days.